So some new information about the mid chapter has just been revealed and it is quite juicy. Kings and Queens, welcome back to the channel. Happy holidays, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about all of the things that are going to be featured in the next mid chapter patch. Take this with a grain of salt. Not everything is officially confirmed, so things are subject to change, but this is more than likely what we can expect. Starting off, the biggest news about this mid chapter is we're going to be getting a brand new survivor. Now, I have a lot of speculation and a lot of theories about this. I personally do not think that this survivor is going to be licensed. I just think that we've received so much licensed content throughout the year already that Dead by Daylight really wants to put out an original chapter. I also have a feeling that this chapter isn't going to necessarily change the game, kind of like how Michaela did. She was a previous survivor that was a standalone, and in order to make it a big selling point for everybody, they introduced boon totems. That way, you had to buy Michaela to get this brand new game feature. I don't necessarily personally think that this new survivor is going to have something like that. And the reason being is A, they never mentioned anything like that, especially in the anniversary event. In the anniversary event itself, they talked about this, so we knew they were planning it and working it for a very long time. And B, they have given us tons of shards in order to obtain characters for free that are original, essentially. And to me, that just speaks that they know that this chapter probably won't do as good. So might as well just make it a free chapter by giving everybody shards. And if you manage to save up your shards up until this point, then you'll be able to actually just get the survivor. Now, again, that's just my theory on it. We could might as well get a licensed survivor. We could get some really crazy perks. Personally, I think with all of the reworks that are going to be coming to a certain type of perks that have status effects that obscure the killer or the survivor, I think this person, whoever they're going to be, they're going to have perks that really mess with the status effects. Kind of like how Vigil is there, but for all of the status effects, essentially, and it could still be potentially quite good. Nonetheless, that is the biggest part about this mid chapter. So a brand new survivor is coming with this. And normally when we get a chapter, essentially, we get a new map. We're not necessarily getting a new map with this one, but we are getting a long awaited rework to the swamp. It's so ironic because the first interview I ever conducted with Matthew Cote, this was when they first started doing the uh, reworks of all the graphical maps. And the two maps that I spoke about was Lampkin Lane and the Swamp. And I said people really want these to be reworked. Ironically, these were two of the last maps to get reworked, but nonetheless, I'm happy to see this. I really hope as well that at some point in time, we can see the variation that was in the game files a long time ago. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, there was some game files when they were teasing the hag, essentially showing a completely different part of this map. And there was actual game files where people were able to go into the map itself. And there was like big tubes essentially running along. It was pretty damn cool. And I really would like to see that. I really want to see that coming in some point in the future. Nonetheless, the swamp is going to be getting a rework, which is fantastic. So pretty good news. This isn't a sponsored part of the stream, though, but I want to give a big shout out to Zydex that actually sent me this really cool Christmas water tumbler that actually says King on the back. So shout out to Zydex. If you are looking for a PC, use code King. Check out Zydex. They made this fantastic DBD themed PC, as you can see behind this ant and all the decorations. So shout out to them. Link is in the description. Another long awaited feature that's going to be incorporated in this patch is the FOV slider. I've been waiting so long and i'm sure you guys have been waiting such a long time for an fov slider honestly i never thought we'd see today but here it is it's going to be coming now keep in mind this is only going to be working for a character that is in first person aka killer only this isn't going to work for chucky this isn't going to work for survivors solely for the killers themselves so now if you're playing as hillbilly or nurse or whatever the case may be you can essentially set your fov crazy high or crazy low depending how you like it you know me i'm going crazy high I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, with changes to uh, FOV, certain perks are going to have to be reworked in order to adhere to the changes. That's now just going to be a feature. So some of the perks that are on the list of being changed is obviously Shadowborn. That's going to be the first one. Monitor and Abuse. And then there's also some perks that are just going to be fixed to fix. Save the Best for Last, Grim Embrace, and Quick Gambit. I'm really interested to see what they're going to do with Shadowborn and Monitor and Abuse, considering that this was such a heavy factor into those perks. It was pretty much the only upside to these perks. Say the best for last, everybody uses it on M1 killers, including myself, so I am kind of interested to see what they're going to do as well. I feel like they're still going to keep it to the nature of save the best for last, but maybe make it so that 
for every person that you sacrifice, you then gain stacks rather than hitting and avoiding a certain person. So that way, essentially, if you kill your obsession last, so to speak, or something like that, maybe then you get more and more stacks. Kind of like Dying Light in a way, except I guess Dying Light's reverse, but the opposite of that. Next on the list are some reworks for some killers. We're getting an Unreal rework, a Hillbilly rework, and the Blight's going to get some add-ons that are going to be reworked. We've been asking for the Blight add-on overhaul for such a long time, so I'm looking forward to that. There's just so many add-ons that need to be tampered with, especially considering how strong the Blight actually is. I know for dedicated Blight players, are not going to be happy about this, but balance needs to be balanced. I'm a killer main, Blight definitely needs some add-on changes. For Hillbilly and Onryo, we don't know necessarily too much. All that I can assume is that the Hillbilly is hopefully going to go back to his roots a little bit more. The overheat mechanic was an interesting choice that they made on their end, so we're going to see what they're going to do. Hopefully, they just remove it. I mean, to be honest, it really killed Hillbilly, and Hillbilly is such a fun character to play as and against. For the Onryo, we kind of know that they're going to go into the direction of bringing her back to what she was because everybody was kind of pissed that the Onryo got changed to what she is now, so they're going to make some tweaks. We'll have to wait and see. I don't think it's going to be anything too major. Finally, for this mid-chapter patch, which is another big feature and can pretty much, and it will actually change the game forever, is a solution to 3-genning. There's a big debate on 3-genning if it's the killer's fault, if it's the survivor's fault. Some people might think it's a no-brainer. It's the survivor's fault for just working on the wrong generators. Others might argue that no matter what, sometimes there's four generators together, so you're always forced into this. And if a survivor just lightly puts pressure on certain generators, then they'll be forced into a bad situation. Nonetheless, they're going to be making a change to it. And the only thing that we kind of have on this is a little tease and they're asking me anything. They mentioned kicking. In my opinion, I think that they're going to remove kicking at the end of the game. I think this would be such a bad idea because killers that can't necessarily apply any pressure early game, late game is when they really shine. I think about killers like the Trapper, someone that I made. If you're not able to kick generators at the end, you're pretty much going to be GG. Like the gens are going to fly and then there's nothing you can do to stop it. Maybe they can incentivize uh, certain things to happen, such as if you down survivors next to a generator, or if you put them on certain hooks, something like a scourge hook will automatically kick in. I don't really know what they're going to do. It's up in the air. Honestly, a lot of people have said that just add in more generators or make it so that if more people are working on one generator at a time, it goes faster, whatever the case may be. I just hope they find a good balance that it doesn't necessarily hinder the killers that really would suffer from early game pressure and now will also suffer from late game pressure. And then at the same time, make it so that it's just too easy for survivors to do to generators in general. I hope it's a good give and take so that way it's not as damning to work on these three generators, but at the same time, you know, it's not going to be too bad on the killer side. I'm rambling on. Those are essentially the changes that can be expected to come out in the mid chapter patch. Exciting new stuff, new survivor, new graphical rework, FOV slider coming in, solution to three gen, three killers are going to be getting changes and some perk changes. This is all more than likely going to be coming out on PTB from January 9th or the 10th. Not exactly sure about the date yet. And then officially, this is going to be released on the 30th or the 31st of January, along with the brand new Tome. So that's when it's going to go live for everybody. But if you are on Steam, you can play the PTB on January 9th or the 10th. Looking forward to all of this stuff. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Happy holidays to everybody. I have some cool videos planned for the rest of the year. And then starting January, we're kicking off some awesome things. So I'll keep you guys posted with all of that. That's pretty much going to do it for me. I hope you guys did enjoy. As always, I'm the king. I did my crown to you guys. And we'll see you in the fog.